When Fender announced the 2021 Jack Stings, I told myself I would not get one. I already have a Fiesta Red 95 Jack Sting that I adore. This was my first Fender. It'll never leave my side and will be buried with me. But then I started seeing pictures of how gorgeous this run Sonic Blue finishes compared to previous runs, and how it's the closest Fender has gotten to matching the color of Kurt's Jack Sting. The color completely sold me, and I got one. This is how she arrived stock from the Fender factory, and the blue finish is striking. I was excited that this run had its own custom pickups, but recreating Kurt's prototype has been on my bucket list for a while, so I immediately started researching what I needed to change to accurately match his. I found this thread on the OpsetGuitars.com form and I'm so happy that I did. It's a long and intensely detailed study into the history and making of Kurt's Jack Stings. I got all the information for my mods there, and I believe these 30 plus pages hold the definitive story and specs of Kurt's Jack Stings. I'll link this thread in the video description. Based on the information there, I got a Fender Texas Special bridge pickup for the neck position, and a Seymour Duncan 59 for the bridge position. Specifically, I got the 59 Trembucker just for the logo. There is a misconception that Kurt's Jack Sting had a Seymour Duncan JB, just like his Inutero Tour Mustangs did. I believed that for years, but the authors of the Offset Guitar Thread went as far as interviewing Larry Brooks, the custom shop master builder who built Kurt's Jack Stings, and he confirmed that it had a custom made 59 humbucker with the Seymour Duncan logo on it. I also got a custom one ply solid white pickguard from Low Mick Guitars. I mailed them my stock pickguard to Trace, and because of that, they are now offering custom pickguards for this run. So if you happen to order one from them, you're welcome. I seriously cannot recommend them enough. Who I started messaging there is a huge Kurt fan too. He built his own prototype jack sing from scratch and we geeked out together over Kurt's gear. I got the idea to get the 59 Trembucker just for the logo from him. That's what he did for his build. I'll link the store in the video description. So here she is after the pickup and pickguard swap. I have affectionately named her Proto. I am still going to have a Goto 2 nomadic bridge installed. That is something Kurt asked his tech to do after receiving the guitar. For now though, we can say Proto is modded exactly like Kurt's was when it was sent out from the Fender Custom Shop. And the main purpose of this video anyway is to demo the sound of the pickups. You'll now hear side-by-side -side sound samples of the guitar stock and after the mods. For both recordings, I played through my 11 rack on my Neutro Tour Clean channel and used my Sansamp Classic on these settings. I am also tuned to Half Step Down, just like Kurt was on the Neutro Tour. Let me know which one you prefer in the comments. Full disclosure though, a few days after getting the guitar, the high E string started buzzing. Buzzing like really, really badly. So to make the comparison fair, I tried my best not to hit the high E string in either recording.
quick end of video rant. Don't let anyone tell you. Kurt hated the Jag Sting. He only used it for a few songs at one or two shows. A. He looks pretty excited and happy when asked about it here. Kurt, did you really custom design a guitar, your own special little model? Yeah. How many models were there, and can I buy one? I don't know. I don't know if it's gone into production yet. I don't know if it'll be available for the public. It's up to them to decide. I took a picture of a Mustang, a Polaroid picture of a Mustang, and a picture of a Jaguar, and then cut them in half and glued them together and told them to build that. So that's what it is. It's the Jag Stang. And B, he used it for all these shows. At some of them, he used it for the entire or almost the entire show. So to me, it doesn't seem like Kurt hated the Jag Stang. It seems like it was a work in progress, and had Kurt lived, we probably would have seen more changes done to it. But personally, I love it and I'm happy we have this very unique looking guitar. Thanks for watching! Be sure to subscribe and check out my other Nirvana gear videos.